Okay, let us quickly solve this Olympiad sort problem. Okay, we are asked to rationalize this. This is very, very simple. Now, don't forget that this one is cube. This one is not squared, not square root. This one is cube root. This is cube root. Okay, now whenever it is cube root, you should recall, recall, recall that x cubed, okay, plus y cubed is the same thing as saying x plus y multiplied by x squared minus xy plus y squared okay so you should know this now once you know this you are done then what you are going to use to multiply up and down is simply something that looks like this okay so this is what i'm going to put up and down here so let us go you where you will take this as your x and this is as your y so i'm going to say that this is what uh, the cube root, the cube root of 5, all raised to power what? 2. I'm using this, okay? Minus the cube root of 5 times the cube root of 2, okay? Then plus the cube root of 2, all squared, okay? Now, the same thing again down. I'm going to have the cube root of 5, all squared, minus the cube root of 5 dot the cube root of 2, then plus the cube root of 2, all squared, okay? It's because of my board. That's why I don't want to start writing down to repeat, okay? Now, when you multiply, if I'm going to multiply this, I'm going to have that uh, uh, this time, this one will give you, uh, this time this will give you 2 the cube root of 25, because 5 squared is 25. This cannot cancel, okay? This time, these people will give you uh, minus 2 the cube root. Or you can just bring it, if you bring them together, if you decide to bring them together, just know that, you know, that the main thing of rationalization is for the denominator to go, to go, okay? Uh, sorry, for the square root to, to, be, to, uh, to be gone in the denominator. We don't want anything root in the denominator. That's the reason of rationalization. So now, if this now multiply this, this is what is going to give me something that looks like this. So the denominator is giving me the cube root of 5 all raised to power 3 plus the cube root of 2 all raised to power 3. And then you know that uh, cube is the opposite of cube root. So this taking care of this and this taking care of this. So in the denominator, I'm left with 5 plus 2. Okay, and 5 plus 2 will give me 7. So the numerator is now whatever you get when multiplying them. My board is too small. So just do that and tell me what you think the answer is. It's not difficult. This time this, this time these people. I hope you know that these people is the same thing as saying the cube root of this time this will give me 10. Okay? Uh, the both of them is the same thing as saying the cube root of 10. Uh, why this one is the same thing as saying the cube root of uh, 4. This one is the same thing as saying the cube root of 25. Okay? So simply multiply. When you use this one and multiply everything, then you probably use this one and multiply everything to see how it's going to be, okay? So that is that. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Equally tell me what you think the answer is, the final answer.